I'm going to show you how, from a manager's perspective, we're going to go through all of my team's deals, the ones that are most important, either at the end of a week, end of a quarter, or end of the year. So the first place that I'm always going to go to is our dashboard. For all sales leaders, this is going to be home-based for you. It gives you a great sense of what your team's working on, what they're not working on, and you can customize it. I'm gonna create a new view. So let's go for deals that are in stage four. I'm looking for anything that's been in the review and the sign stage and not paused. So let's just drop in my team members' names here. And then I also want to apply one more filter here. I'm really looking for contracts that have been created in the last 60 days. Awesome. At this point, I'm gonna save this view and give it a name. This is something that I'm always going to come back to, so it's really nice to save it so that I can come back to it later. Now that we've done that, I'm going to drop in and see what my team is working on. So let's click into an agreement. Before Ironclad, I used to just ping reps all day long. Where is this deal? Where is this agreement? Have you talked to the counterparty? And it's the first thing that I'm spending time doing is going through the activity feed, seeing if the counterparty has engaged with our agreement. And you can see as I scroll down, approvals right up front and center. I know who's working on the agreement and I know whose approval is pending and who's already marked their approval. For us, we already have a whole list of approvals that need to be collected to get a deal from creation all the way to close. And most of those approvals have already been pre-configured using Workflow Designer with the help of DeBrage's team. There's always a scenario where you need to include somebody that's not in that pre-configured approval chain. And this is where ad hoc approvals become extremely useful. Let's say, for example, one of my AEs needs to add in a split payment or they need to update net terms. I drop in the context in the activity feed and then I go ahead and add an approver to the workflow. The next thing that we find incredibly valuable in the activity feed, I know who is actually in the agreement right now. For us, that engagement, that back and forth that's happening in real time where we can collaborate in a platform together is really valuable. It signals to me that the deal is moving forward, that we're closer to getting to agreement, and actually we're probably closer to signature. For most of my reps, I encourage them to invite the counterparty into a nice, safe, and secure collaborative environment. Counterparties can be invited into their own secure ironclad instance, where they can at mention, view, leave comments, and even upload their most recent turn of the agreement. Last year, we were closing a big deal with a very large technology company, and our POC was on the other side of the world. For her, she was already in fiscal year 2023. For us, we were 12 hours behind her. And it was pretty important that we got to agreement before the strike of midnight. I can tell you that I spent most of that evening refreshing my Ironclad activity feed to know when my team was working on a version of the contract and then when her team was working on a version of the contract. I was able to see when the document was routed when our counterparty opened the agreement, when she signed, and when it got routed to our internal signer, um, our CFO. For me, the most exciting part about Ironclad is when the deal gets signed. We know when every deal gets signed, our Salesforce integration will push that information to Salesforce, closing out the deal. That triggers a Slack message that gets sent out to the entire company to celebrate this closed one deal. And in that moment, I, as a manager, could not be more proud for both the AE and our entire team to celebrate a new win. If you're a sales leader or a manager of teams and you wanna learn more about Ironclad, reach out, we'd love to talk to you.